In this video series, we are going to build a Web3 application from scratch. A Web3 application that talks over the Ethereum blockchain and uses a front end code in React.js. So we're gonna build a React.js web server that will interact with Web3. So this is our part one of the Web3 application development video series. What we're gonna do now, we're gonna build a end-to-end -end Web3 application that it's going to talk to a blockchain. So you are going to get real experience building a Web3 application. That's awesome, right? Okay, so what we're gonna do first, this is video number one. We're gonna build a React.js server. What is a React.js server? Basically, this is the web front end for our Web3 application. Web3 can be deployed with a front end. So your clients or people that want to use your application, they'll just type a URL and they'll get that, that front end. The front end will be coded using React.js. So step one, let's build a React.js server once we have it up and running, then we can move on and add the additional requirements to enable Web3 functionality. Let's start, okay? Let's go. Okay, so what I ended up doing is that I created a brand new server for this demonstration, right? So this is a Windows Server 2016, 2019, I believe, one of those two. Anyway, for our Linux fans, uh, I know this is not the, the best way to deploy a, a, a React.js server or a Web3 web server, um, but uh, because Windows is very, very common nowadays, then I decided to do it on Windows, but you can do it on Linux as well. That is no problem. First thing we have to do, we have to download Node.js. So Node.js is the, the whole library that we need in order for us to build that React.js application, right? So we, we're gonna use Node.js to install React.js, okay? So step one, let's download Node.js. Let's go open our browser, uh, okay? Let's go ahead real quick here and uh, let's search for Node.js, right? The first site, Node.js.org. Let's download the recommended version, 16.13.2. At, you know, by the time that we're doing this video, which is um, January 27, 2022. Time flies, okay? So now that we have the file, right? We go ahead and we install this file. And this will install all of the required libraries for us to invoke a React JS server. In this case, we basically create a React app and that will install all the React components, okay? All right, let's do it. So we install next and it's asking us to install Sh Chocolaty, okay? Uh, so we install the necessary tools. Let's just install that, install. We're waiting for the setup to complete, right? Once we're done, then we can open our command prompt and verify if we have Node.js properly installed. Okay, installation has been completed. Now it's going to install additional tools for Node.js. So we'll just press any key, any key, and it's just gonna install that. Once we're done, um, I'm gonna pause the video. Once we're done with this, oh, it says that I have an existing uh, sh chocolatey installed, okay. So once we're done with all this, I am going to continue uh, the video. Okay, so it looks like it finished. So let's go ahead and uh, press enter to exit. Okay, we're done with that. Let me go ahead and open a prompt. In this case, I'm gonna use PowerShell. Let me expand the font so we all can see it better, including myself. Okay. Okay, now let's verify that we have Node.js installed by checking the version. So we type node-v, and that gives us the version, which is 16.13.2. Okay, perfect. Now, let's do the following. Let's go into the root, 
And uh, what we're gonna do now, we are going to create a React app. There is a tool inside Node.js called MPX or Node Package Installer or uh, Executor, Node Package Executor or Installer, okay? So we type MPX, right? Then we type create React app. That will invoke uh, the node package installer to, 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 to deploy a React uh, web server, right? Now we have to type the name of that React app. In this case, we can label this to be Web3 Demo. Let's call it Web3 Demo. Press Enter. First thing it's going to ask us is we need to install the React app package. So we're just going to press OK. And it's going to go and pull out of the repository all the information that it needs, all the files, and it's going to install the web server for us. Once it's done, we should have the React app ready for us to run and start developing. Okay, So we'll just let this run. And once this is done, we are going to invoke uh, to start the web development server. Okay, so the installation has completed. Now we have our application folder. Let's make sure that it's uh, created. So we should be able to get it there. Yep. So we got Web3 demo. Let's list the docking. Uh, let's list the files. We have everything we need. So how do we start this web server, right? So let's start this web server to, to make sure that it's that it's running npm run start okay so what that's going to do is going to run react js in development mode meaning that we can make changes to the web server and uh and yeah and develop while the server is running okay so uh, this is like we're not going to use Internet Explorer, I have a lame joke that Internet Explorer was made to download another browser. That's all it's good for. <laughs> okay, so there seems to be a uh, error regarding certain libraries, but I think the service should be online. So let's open our browser and uh, let's go ahead and type uh, localhost and we can confirm what the address of that local server is. So on the local machine will be localhost uh, colon 3000. If um, if you're trying to access it because the server is remote, then you use the IP. Okay. So let's type localhost colon 3000, and we should have that web server up and running. And there you go. We got our first React web server deployed, ready for us to develop. Okay. Let me do a quick demo. Let's just modify this so you can see how we can do a quick, a quick, uh, a quick uh, configuration on React, and you can see a live in action. Okay, so I'm going to open uh, VS Code, uh, Virtual Studio Code, and um, we're gonna open the app.js file in React. Okay, let me find, and there's our react js working folder right so this is our server so let me go ahead and open that and uh now it should ask me if i trust yes i trust okay so now i should have the working folder open so now let's go to um source we're going to have certain files here uh the app.js is the default location in which the React web server compiles the, the the web server configuration. Okay, so this could be modifiable to levels you cannot imagine. Like I can build what I call what is called a router, and I can tell the router, hey, I have different pointers, and then we can create sub sub pages and whatnot. So this is very powerful. But for this demonstration, we're just gonna do a quick change here, so you can see how easy it is to modify a React server. Okay, so let me go ahead and open that app.js file. And you can see the text that we have on the web server is literally on the on the app.js 
configuration. And .js stands for JavaScript. So this is JavaScript programming language. Okay. What do we see here? Edit source uh, forward slash app.js and save to reload. Let's modify those uh, that to say something, you know, something else. Let's just change the wording here. This is let's, uh, this is my first web three application, and we're gonna control S to save it, and boom! Look at that. We just made the change, and the change went live in the React web server because we're running the server in development mode. Okay, there you go. This is part one, we got React.js up and running. In part two, we're gonna start installing some dependencies so then we can do Web3 interaction and we can do Web3 calls. So our web server is gonna start talking to the blockchain. It's gonna start interacting with a blockchain. In this case, it could be Ethereum, it can be Binance Smart Chain, it can be Polygon. Possibilities are endless. So we're going to build this Web3 React.js server, and we're going to interact with a smart contract, okay? So follow me, and make sure that you stick around for part two of this training series videos.